What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today. And in this video, we are at Oklahoma City Will Rogers World Airport for the seventh airport update for the month of May, 2022. Got one new plane here in this update. Finally, I'm gonna be using this aircraft. I've not gotten to use this yet, and I've been looking forward to using this aircraft in an airport update. And here's it, and here's where it makes its debut. Starting off here in the United section of the airport here at gates 11 and 9. I think this is the first time that these two gates have been occupied simultaneously in an update. But over at gate 11, we have United Express CRJ200 in the Continental Globe. That's the aircraft in focus towards the right side of your screen. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Denver, operated by SkyWest, flight 4801, at 7.52 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 8.14 p.m. arrival. Focusing towards the left side of your screen now, we have a United Express Embraer 175 in the Evo Blue livery pulling into gate number 9. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Chicago Hare, operated by SkyWest, flight 5304, at 10.51 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 11.07 a.m. arrival. First off, I do want to apologize. The lighting is kind of crappy again because the lights keep burning out around here. I'm not sure what's wrong with these fixtures above the uh, airport table here and around this area. So I have to investigate that, try to get that fixed, and hopefully uh, the lighting will be better. So there is a light currently out just directly over the table, so it's going to be a little bit darker in this update. So I, I may make some adjustments to the brightness and the contrast during editing. So if you do notice a little bit of a change in the brightness and contrast, that's why. But hopefully I'm able to figure out what's going on with these lights as I did replace them fairly recently. But they decided to start flickering and... Uh, potentially act as some type of epilepsy simulator. So as such, I've had to remove the lights just out of caution. We've got a really nice lineup here of aircraft here, uh, looping around from the west edge to the southern end of the terminal. We'll start off over here at gate number two. Kind of a bad view of this aircraft, but uh, there is a little bit something in the way um, on the side of the table that I would normally have my camera position for certain shots, but um, because that's in the way, I will not be able to position the camera over there. It'll be over here like this. So sitting at gate number two, we have this Alaska 737-800 with splits. Been a little while since I've used this aircraft at Oklahoma City. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Seattle, flight 1406. At 3.33 p.m. out of a scheduled 3.50 p.m. arrival, this flight's still going on pretty strong. Some good American action here with two regional aircraft, um, Eagle aircraft, I should say, and then we have one mainline aircraft. We'll jump on down here to gate number four with this American Eagle CRJ-700. Super excited to finally have this aircraft here at Oklahoma City. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Dallas-Fort Worth, operated by SkyWest, flight 3195. At 8.52 p.m., delayed from an 8.20 p.m. scheduled arrival, a 32-minute delay for this aircraft. At gate number six, we have this American Eagle Embraer 175. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Miami, uh, operated by Envoy Air, flight 3680, at 11.53 p.m., a little bit behind at 11.47 p.m. scheduled arrival. Envoy got a pretty nice uh, base going on out there, Miami International, so a couple of flights popping up out of here uh, from Miami. And I know Des Moines has some service. We don't have anything down in Miami yet from Sioux Falls. Hopefully that happens. Sometime in the future, I don't know when that's going to be, but I think there's plenty of demand in Florida that we could potentially handle uh, some more um, legacy carrier operations down that way. As all we have down in Florida is Allegiant and Frontier, and that's it. Uh, no, none of the legacy carriers fly down there out of Sioux Falls to uh, Florida. Finally, getting some mainline action going here at gate number eight with this American Airbus A319 CFM engines with defense tip winglets. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Dallas Fort Worth, flight 1805, at 9.42 a.m. ahead of a scheduled 9.52 a.m. arrival. This aircraft did have the IAE engines, and we're still waiting on a release from Gemini, hopefully with good colors. I'm um, not sure when that's going to be happening, but hopefully that is on their list, um, their plan, or whatever they want to call it. Um, for a potential future release. So hopefully that's happening very, very soon. And I know there's another aircraft that has yet to be released that is still not yet been done despite my constant requests. I'm hoping that I can get others to start um, not necessarily pestering Gemini jets for it, but just kind of asking them every now and then, hey, can you make this? So hopefully that's able to get going here at some point because I would really love to see one of those in 400 scales. So hopefully that's not too far out. Moving away from the American side of things, we got a good lineup here with a United Mainline aircraft in this update, E319 here at gate 10. So this aircraft are riding on a service from Houston George Bush Intercontinental, so still got a pretty good United Mainline service here for Oklahoma City to Houston. This arrived in at 3.47 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 4.05 p.m. arrival. I think the last time I had the Mainline service in here, a uh, scheduled passenger service, not like a charter flight or anything, as I know I had that in a previous update, that was on a 737-700 of a similar size. So. 
looks like they had an A319 available, so they decided to send this. Hopefully there's some more mainline coming into Oklahoma City in the future, but it looks like the United Express stuff that they got going on over here um, on this side of the airport has been doing them pretty well. So hopefully uh, that does get some type of upgrade or they add some type of new service, but we'll see what happens with that in the future. Moving over to gate number 12, we have this Frontier Airbus A320neo. A nice to see Frontier once again in this update. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Las Vegas, flight 1990, at 4.32 p.m., very delayed from a 2.49 p.m. scheduled arrival. I don't know how much exactly of a delay that it is. I'll pop it up on your screen just because I can't do the math in my head right now, and I'd like to make this update flow pretty smoothly. So there's a delay for uh, those that are curious, but not sure what caused the delay here. Uh, probably something mechanical related or perhaps just one of those random delays that just tends to happen and proves to be an inconvenience for the passengers on board. Pretty typical Southwest line up here at Oklahoma City. Nothing too exciting to report on, but we'll go ahead and check them out here. Again, sorry about the camera angles here. I know it's a little bit iffy, but um, considering the circumstances I've got going on with the lights and everything and even the chair that is blocking part of where I like to have my camera set up, uh, this will have to do for now. I'll try to move the camera around a little bit, especially once we get down towards the other end of the terminal. As a matter of fact, I'm actually gonna do that probably because it's much better for me to do it that way. It's probably gonna be backlit, but just excuse that, I will be right back. All right, switched over the camera to the other side of the table. I'm using my iPad that I have set up to read off the flight information. Uh, set up with the flashlight turned on, so hopefully it does provide a little bit of extra lighting over here, uh, so it's not super backlit. Over at gate 14, we have the Southwest 737-700 and the Hart livery with split winglets. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Chicago Midway, flight 565, at 7.29 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 7.50 p.m. arrival. At gate 18, we have the Southwest 737-800 in the Hart livery. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Phoenix Sky Harbor, flight 2063, at 12.24 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 12.35 p.m. arrival. All the Southwest aircraft we have here at this portion of the update. I do want to give an update here on the Breeze service, which um, in the last update I had here at gate 24, looks like that service has been downgraded to an Embraer 190. So as such, I do not have this in the update. All the flights in this update are from Thursday, May 19th, which is one of the days of the week that Breeze used to operate their service from Tampa. But as far as I know, that has now been changed to a thrice weekly service on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So... But it seems like with that, it has come to be a type of some sort of downgrade to an Ember 190 and the Airbus A220 service. Um, entry into service looks like that keeps getting pushed back due to cert various certification issues and all that fun stuff. So I've not pre-ordered the Breeze A220. I'm probably going to hold off on getting that for a little bit. I'm going to wait for this thing um, in, in late June before I consider picking it up. So for the moment, I will be without a Breeze A220 and we'll just hang on to my Ember 195 as that should fit just fine. So that's kind of the update on the Breeze Tampa service and all that other stuff, especially their other services as well. I think they're pretty much all down to um, an Embraer 190 at this point. No no word on if uh, A220 is going to be popping up here anytime soon as far as I'm aware. I'll have to check during editing. But for a moment, that's pretty much all we have for that. So moving on over to the Delta section of this update. Again, backlit, so it's going to result in some uh, very shoddy lightning, lighting. But over here at gate 26, we have this Delta Airbus A320 arrived on a service from Atlanta, flight 1663, at 9.49 p.m. ahead of a scheduled 9.57 p.m. arrival. And then 367 November Whiskey, uh, very close to 376. I thought it was the exact same, but it looks like I just said the number is flipped, uh, 6 and 7 respectively, um, to 76. So this is kind of something I noticed there whilst putting together the table for me to read off for the update. At gate 28, we have this Delta 717-200. Still nice to see the mad puppies flying around. This aircraft arrived in on, a, on another service from Atlanta, flight 2395, at 526 p.m. and of a scheduled 544 p.m. arrival. That's all the Delta mainline aircraft for this update, so pretty much the same thing as expected uh, with an Airbus and a 717 just kind of popping in here saying hello. The CRJ900 makes a return after taking a hiatus last month. This, uh, this Minneapolis service got brought back to a CRJ900. This arrived in at 6.41 p.m. and of a scheduled 6.50 p.m. arrival, again, operated by SkyWest. So, yeah, I did actually see this flight, like I said before, out of Minneapolis, so kind of nice to see that flight uh, in real life out of Minneapolis. And that is all of the aircraft we have here at the passenger terminal. So we'll check out a few aircraft room in the airport, including one new aircraft that I have not yet featured in an update. 
Well, because the couch refuses to get out of my way, I'm gonna have to do that here after I'm finished filming or whenever I get the chance to, um, as there's some other stuff in the way. Taxiing over to the cargo ramp, we got this FedEx Airbus A300. Nice to see these in an update. This aircraft arrived in on a service from Memphis, flight 347, at 4.53 p.m., a little bit behind a 4.42 p.m. scheduled arrival. Taxiing out of, I believe, gate number four is this American Airbus A321 with the CFM engines and fence tip winglets. This aircraft will be departing to Dallas-Fort Worth, uh, flight 868, departed at 3.09 p.m., delayed from a 2.34 p.m. scheduled departure time. That is, I believe, a 35-minute delay of a departure for this aircraft. One more, and then we will be finished. And look who's making their first appearance in the airport updates on the channel, the American 737-800 regular livery. This is the uh, NG model's release with the new logo on the winglets from 2022. This aircraft will be departing on another service to Dallas-Fort Worth, flight 2627, and departed at 4.55 p.m., a little bit behind a 4.34 p.m. scheduled departure time, a 21-minute delay of a departure for this aircraft. So it seems like this must be a bit of a new service or could be a bit of a swap as well. Um, American usually sends the A320 family aircraft. I did see an A321neo come here at one point, so I'm guessing probably lack of available aircraft and they just decided to send a neo on that service at the time. Yeah, that's just kind of how it's been with the A320 family, but looks like we finally have 730-700 action here at Oklahoma City, so nice to see that. Gives me a good opportunity to finally feature this aircraft in an update. I know I've been kind of holding that off for a bit, and it's just because none of the other airports that I'm currently doing, or even the random model airport stuff I already did, has not had this in the uh, schedule yet. And that'll do it for this update. Just doing one quick scan here before I confirm that I am indeed uh, finished with this update. Just want to provide some uh, last second remarks here towards the end of the video. Um, obviously with summer coming up for me, I'll be much more free. I'll have plenty more things to do for about a couple of months before I transition into a bit of a busier part of my life. So I will detail that in a future video, uh, possibly towards around the August to September window once I'm able to finalize all that stuff. But I think you kind of know where that's going at this point. But yeah, a lot, with summer coming up, I do have a big trip coming up here, so I will have more information on, on that as well. Uh, getting closer to that date will be towards the end of next month. So the, so the end of June, I'll be making a pretty big trip here with a lot of content planned for it, as far as I know. Uh, still working on some of the plans on how I want to set up the content. But there will be plane spotting, there will be model aircraft involved, so I'm sure you can probably put the pieces together by this point. And then another quick thing too, since I'll be on summer break, I'll try to see if I can pump out some more content. So if you have any content ideas, let me know. I'm just kind of out of content ideas at this moment. So hopefully I'll be able to fulfill some of it over the summer just to try and pump out some content and give me some stuff to upload later on down the road, especially once I have uh, less time to upload videos. So that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.